I am forcing a glow up. Brown is trendy. <laughs> I think we're gonna do brown because I'm trendy. In comparison, these are a million times better. She is gonna blind herself. The pearly white teeth. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be like a glow up video but I'm going to be forcing a glow up because I start back at uni soon like after like the Christmas term we kind of had like a really big break because of exams and stuff like that but we actually start online lessons again today just later on in the day and so I'm having a glow up. I am forcing a glow up before then. I have some fun ideas of how I'm gonna glow up. I'm thinking nails, I'm thinking hair, I'm thinking teeth whitening, I'm thinking eyebrow tinting, lash lifting, the lot. So without any further ado, let's get started and the first thing I'm gonna do is paint my nails. Okay, so I'm gonna do gel nails. I've got like, I've got like the gel light and I've got the gel nail polish colours. First I'm going to file and like make my nails a bit nicer and I would normally do like acrylics or stick-ons or something like that but since I am growing up for uni and I'm doing a practical course even though we're at home by ourselves we're not really supposed to have fake nails on because like might injure ourselves or something so I'm only doing like my normal little like real nails but that's what I'm doing. I'm going to file my nails and cut back my cuticles and then we'll choose a colour to put on them. Okay, so I filed them down, buffed them a little bit and all of that jazz and now I'm going to actually paint them. So, the colours, I'm kind of still deciding a little bit, but I think the, oh wait, are these two or these? Okay, so we have a few options, but I'm thinking like a burgundy, a red, a purple, like that kind of vibe. So, this one is burgundy, you can't really see it. Or this one, which is, oh no, that's brown. I like it. I think we're gonna do brown. Brown is trendy. <laughs> I think we're gonna do brown because I'm trendy. Or purple. I think maybe brown would be quite cute to be fair. I've not really seen much brown nails and I am super trendy. Okay, so I'm gonna do base gel, brown, and then I'm gonna do glossy top gel, do we think? Or matte. It dips, guy blue, it is not you. We're gonna do a matte top coat. That's gonna be really cute, I think. So let's do it. Okay, so the nails are done. So this hand looks better because it's my like live foundation on my top. This hand's better because it's like my good hand. This hand is a bit messy. And also the brown looks a little bit like poop. A little bit, tiny bit poop-like. I am such a beauty influence with my poop nails. Anywho, so I'm gonna leave the poop nails here. I mean, they're not bad, they look cute. Like, I'm glad I did them. Just, I think I've learned from this why people don't do brown nails. It looks like they've got poop on their hands. Anyway, I'm gonna do the next thing now, which is gonna be about tooth whitening, because you gotta keep your pearly whites pearly white. So yeah, let's go. This section of the video is actually sponsored by Spotlight Oral Care and if you know me and you've watched my glow up videos before you'll know that oral care is a big thing for me. I really want to have like a pearly white smile especially because I drink a lot of coffee which stains your teeth then that means that oral care is super important to me and Spotlight Oral Care has been great for me with whitening my teeth and keeping a really nice healthy smile. So I'm going to show you and tell you a little bit about Spotlight Oral Care in this part of the video. So Spotlight Oral Care was founded by two dentists and I think this is important because normally toothbrushes are designed by engineers not dentists and since they're dentists they obviously definitely know what they're doing with this. This is their Sonic Electric Toothbrush which I've been using for over a week now and I think it's really good. It's very professional and it has a lot of settings which I really like. So there's a setting for cleaning your teeth, a setting for whitening your teeth and a setting for more sensitive teeth. It is very professional and the sonic toothbrush comes with three replacement heads so this is definitely going to last a long time 
You can kind of tell they're like different settings. You <laughs> just spray water everywhere though because I've been using it. So with the electric toothbrush, I've been using their toothpaste for whitening teeth and I've also been using the mouthwash for tooth whitening. I've also been using their dental floss for decay because I think it's really good to get into a good habit of using dental floss. And then my absolute favorite thing is the teeth whitening strips. The whitening strips come in sustainable packaging, which I really love because I'm trying to be more sustainable this year. And there's a 14 day course of whitening strips. So over the 14 days, your teeth like get whiter. All of these products are vegan and cruelty free, which are two very important things that I love about Spotlight Oral Care's products. So I'm gonna get started on the first thing, which is the whitening strips. I'm gonna be leaving it on for an hour, which is what is recommended for these. While I've got these on, I'm gonna continue doing other things for part of the glow up, which is something I actually really like about these is that you can leave them on and get on with other things in your day. And then after I take these out after an hour, I'm going to use the toothbrush, the mouthwash, and the dental floss. So that is my plan of action for making my pearly whites even pearly whiter. Thank you to Spotlight Oral Care for sponsoring this section of the video. And without any further ado, let's put on the teeth whitening strips. So we're gonna open it up and see what we've got in there. So we have two strips, a top and a bottom. I put the big one on my top teeth because when I smile, I smile mainly with my top teeth. So you want your teeth to be dry. So I'm gonna like make my teeth dry. I did tooth whitening strips ages ago in a video, but the brand was not good and these are incredible. In comparison, these are a million times better. So let's dry the teeth. <laughs> Good it off. And now I'm gonna do a top on. I would have been able to do that a bit better if I had an actual mirror. And now I'm going to set a timer for an hour to keep these on my teeth for. One hour, you can't really see, but one hour. Ta-da! And now I'm going to get on with the rest of the glow up while I've got these in my mouth. So, let's go! Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is my brows and my lashes. And I'm going to kind of do them at the same time, just because there's like a lot of it to do. Um, so, here's how we're going to work. I'm gonna start off by taking off my makeup, which is kind of sad because I think it looks quite good today. But we're gonna take it off and I'm going to make like the brow solution and I'm gonna start putting on the brow tint and stuff like that. And then once I've got that on, then I'm going to start doing the lash lift on one eye as well. This is gonna be kind of hectic, but I think we can do it. Disclaimer, before I start doing any of the brows or lash things, be careful, use if you buy like lash lift kits or brow tint kits. Just be careful with them, make sure you're like supervised or have someone help you or whatever. Last time I did a lash lift in a video, my nan rang my mum and was like, she is gonna blind herself. So make sure you're using proper equipment and don't blind yourself because if you do, it's not my fault, I'm just saying. So I'm going to get a makeup flannel remover thing and remove my makeup now. So most of my makeup is off now and I'm actually going to start off by just quickly plucking my eyebrows a little bit just to make sure I've got like the shape and everything, giving them a little neaten up. They're not too bad, but yeah, I'm going to do that first off and then we'll get tinting. So let's go. So now I'm going to do like the outlines, like I'm going to go under and over my brows with some like emollient cream basically to make sure the dye doesn't dye my skin and then i'm going to mix the dye and get dye my brows now i'm going to mix the brow thingy solution so i'm using dark brown in the cream color and i'm using just a little tray to mix it in and i'm going to do two centimeters a little bit gone off is what it is and then five drops of activator that was probably about 12 and then we're gonna mix it with this end of the stick. So now I'm gonna apply this to my brows and leave it there and start on my lashes. So let's apply this first. Okay, so this is how my brows are looking. Obviously they're not actually gonna look like this when they're done. This is just while they've got the thing on them. And I'm gonna start doing my lashes at the same time. So I'm starting with lash cleanser. I've only got a bit of this left, so I'm just getting more. But yeah, I'm gonna use this to make sure I've got all the oil and stuff off my lashes. Okay, so I cleaned my lashes and stuck down my bottom lashes to make sure they don't get in there. And now I'm gonna start with the whole like process. I need to go and get 
cling film and cotton buds and then I can start actually doing the lash lift. So let, let me get what I need. So I'm starting the like lash lift process now. I'm gonna stick on the lifty thing and then brush up my lashes and do all of that kind of stuff. I'm gonna update you once it's on and going well. So it's going pretty well. We've got one lash in position. So I'm gonna take this off and put the next thing on, but then I also have to take off my eyebrows because they're like been on for pretty much long enough. So Okay, that's kind of dark, so hopefully they come off a little bit more. So this is how it's looking, and I'm actually not too mad. Like, I was worried it would be a little bit too dark, but I think it does look okay. I'm just going to take this one off now because I don't want it to, like, set for too long and be really, like, even darker than that one. And yeah, I'll take this off, and then I'll see you when I'm sorting this one out again. <laughs> So, I'm taking this off now properly, but I realized I made a mistake. I did it backwards. So there's like two solution thingies you put on. One of them is to like make it perm and then one of them is to fix it in position. And I fixed it before I permed it. So it might not work. And then we'll just do this eye accordingly. Like if it works a little bit, I'll just do it the same way on this side. You know, cause I don't want it to be like super different, but yeah, let's just peel this off. So here's the deal. It literally didn't work at all. Also, this eyebrow's a little bit dark, but I think it's all right. It didn't work at all because I did it the wrong way around. And I'm really mad, but I'm not gonna do it again because I don't wanna put too much product on my eyelashes. I don't want it to like ruin my lashes. So I think we'll just like stick some fake lashes on or something when I put my makeup back on. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go take this out now. So I'll take it to the bathroom with me, take this out and brush my teeth because it's been an hour. Well, then I wanna cut my hair. But we'll get to that when we get to that. So the last part of the video may have been a slight flop, but it's all right. So now I'm gonna take out the piece right in strip. Ta-da. And the top one as well. Ta-da. So now I'm gonna brush my teeth with the electric toothbrush on the white setting and also use the whitening toothpaste. when we go back into my room under the good light but I think they do look whiter now I'm using some of the whitening mouthwash to rinse anything else around my mouth and then I'm finito with the white pearly teeth so just so you can see this is the pearly white teeth I think they look really white. I'm really happy with how the Spotlight Oral Care has given me nice teeth. Once again, thank you Spotlight Oral Care for sponsoring this video. <laughs> anyway, so the only thing left I wanna do is cut my hair. I only have an hour between now and my first lesson. I also need to eat food in that time. So what I'm gonna do is really, really quickly have a shower and wash my hair so that it's wet. And then when it's still wet, I'll give it a trim quickly dry it and finish this video super speedy so I can make it to my first class on time. So without any further ado, let's have a quick, quick speedy shower and cut my hair. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do now is cut my hair. I've washed it and I'm gonna just brush it out and put some like hair oil in it, which is like growth serum thing that I found. I don't know, I think it works, but we'll see. So I'm gonna put that on and then we're gonna give my hair a little trim and I'll properly update you and show you like when I'm trimming my hair because that's kind of the exciting part. Not gonna do anything drastic though, just a trim just a trip okay so i'm gonna cut my hair now but this is the tea so i haven't had my hair cut properly since like before the first lockdown ever since the first lockdown i've just cut my own hair and so that's what i'm gonna be doing but normally i have hairdresser scissors i left my hair cutting scissors at uni and so we're gonna be using kitchen scissors <laughs> wish me the best of luck and let's go okay so i'm gonna start off by separating like the top layer of my hair from the bottom i just do it in two layers because i'm not really a hairdresser i don't really have any clue what i'm doing at all so we're just gonna take like half my hair and just twizzle it and pop it in like a little bun super cute then we see the rest which is very uneven on each side but to be honest i don't think it really matters because i'm only taking it like the very very ends off so it's not too deep i won't really touch these bits because i'm trying to make them grow to the same length as my hair so i'm just gonna take this 
and OMG. If you're a hairdresser and you're watching this, I'm so sorry because you're going to hate me. I just go like this. And then just like give it a little snip snip this way. I don't know. Now I'm going to do the back pieces. So bring them around. But you did this for what? Why not? <laughs> So now I'm just going to trim like the top, the, the top kind of layer and make it the same length as the bottom bit and then I'm going to put my makeup on and everything and straighten my hair and show you guys the finished product. So, product, finished look, I don't know. Let's go. Okay, so I've like dried straight in my hair. I actually went and did my classes as well. It's like five hours later now, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Everybody's good at cooking something, but I'm good at cooking crumble. So, okay, here's me. Eat. I'm actually quite mad that the lash lift did not work. Gonna have to curl my lashes manually or like stick on lashes for the next six weeks. But it's okay, it's fine, honestly it's fine. At least I still have eyelashes, it could have gone more wrong, right? But guys, my hair, as you can probably tell, looks just about no different. Um, I feel like I might have got off some split ends. Do I know? No, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I've got literally no clue. I just winged it. That's kind of what I do. But yeah, here's the glow up. Wait, that made it look like I was going to do a transition and look cool. I'm not. This is it. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed my little glow up. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Maybe you've got some ideas of how you want to have a little mini glow up or anything like that. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And remember, there'll be a link in the description for Spotlight Oral Care if you want to try those out. Because I definitely recommend them. But that is all for now. Subscribe if you've not already with the big red subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. If you want to stay up to date with what I'm doing, follow me on all of my social media, which should be linked in the description box down below. Shop my merch at elinouisshop.com. And I guess the only thing left to say is I love you a lotty, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.